Ryan, let's talk about this market because this uncertainty about whether or not the Federal Reserve is going to get it right, this transition from easing to tightening, has crushed growth, crushed big tech. You are looking at Tesla, and you say that Tesla might be the most overvalued stock out there. Tell me about it. <laughs> well, I said that last year, too, and I have to admit, I was wrong. Um, I was actually wrong. It, you know, it actually went up 50% last year. But, I mean, the valuation, to me, it's still the same, same old story. I mean, it trades at 120 times forward earnings. And I think the theme we're talking about this morning is the Fed is taking away the punch bowl. Um, and to Dennis' point, you know, they're behind the eight ball, so now they got to move aggressively. And if we see four rate hikes this year, that's going to have a significant impact on repricing of these what we call long-duration assets. So anything like Tesla that trades for 120 times earnings has to come under pressure. So I think, you know, when you're looking right now at investing, looking at your portfolio, you've got to be really careful here uh, where you're putting your money. Uh, because if you look at it, just put it in perspective, if you look at Toyota, which is the largest car maker in the world, first time that it actually, uh, it actually exceeded GM, which for the, 90 years was, for the last 90 years was the number one car maker in the world. If you take the price of Tesla down by 70 percent, it's still worth more than Toyota, <laughs> which makes literally, uh, you know, Toyota makes 10 times as many cars a year than uh, Tesla does. So Tesla's got to perform a miracle here uh, to actually produce the kind of cars that the largest tar car maker in the world makes, which is Toyota. So, yeah, yeah I think, look, the punch bowl is going away. Uh, inflation is real. And these long duration assets, you have a lot of risk there. And if you buy the S&P 500 blindly, uh, you're literally just buying tech because then you're just getting Facebook, Apple, Microsoft, Google. You're getting Tesla yeah. in there and, and NVIDIA. So I think this is the time that you've got to reallocate your portfolio. Yeah, but let me just say, a lot of people said the same thing about Amazon all the way up and up and up and up and up, and then they said the same thing about Apple, and now we're talking about a $3 trillion <laughs> market value on Apple, Ryan. It's true, Maria, but if you go back to the tech bubble uh, back way back in 2000, yeah. uh, Amazon went down 90% yeah. when the tech bubble burst. So it did have a exactly. magnificent yep. run eventually. Good point. So, so, fire beware here. <laughs> Things are getting bubblicious. All right. All right. Bubblicious. Great word.